to be crystal clear about what the Online Harms Act does not do. It does not undermine freedom of speech. It enhances free expression by empowering all people to safely participate in online debate. C63, this bill does not wade in to your private communications. Private communications are exempted from this legislation. The message to these people and these organizations is very simple. It is now the time to work directly with us. Failure to do so will have a price significant monetary penalties. So this is literally the most horrific and the most dangerous piece of legislation that has ever been attempted to have been passed through any country's parliament, senate, whatever, in the developed western world in any, literally any of our lifetimes. It's the liberals, Justin Trudeau's here in Canada, the online harms bill. And what makes it so incredibly dangerous is that it has set up an environment where you don't even have to actually violate the the laws that are dictated in the bill in order to be declared guilty. All it takes is reasonable doubt that you may end up doing something that violates the online harms bill. Which means if you have a neighbor who you particularly don't like, maybe they don't have the thing that you got. And you think that they're a terrorist and you feel unsafe on a plane or a train with them next to you because you feel it puts you at risk. The kind of things that Justin Trudeau was telling you and brainwashing you with over the last couple of years. Maybe you believe that and you're going to go out there and you're going to maybe snitch on them. You're going to call the police and say, I think this person may misgender somebody in the event they meet somebody who is transgender. You should do something about it. And all that they have to do is go and look at any type of your online presence and see that maybe you've posted something that is more conservative. Maybe you posted something that sort of questions the type of material that is in school, the way that I did in the last video with the libs of TikTok versus Taylor Lorenz thing. Maybe that's the kind of thing, you, and then boom, you're in jail. And you should see some of the things that this bill allows judges to be able to do, I'm going to put it up on the screen for you guys right now. This is absolutely horrific stuff. Online harms bill has got provisions for a judge to put ankle monitors on people, to take away their property, which includes uh, their cell phones, their internet services, their firearms. It allows them to put people under house arrest or give them curfews. So you could literally be sitting at home just like... I don't think that the book Gender Queer should be allowed in schools and boom, you're a transphobe, boom, you, vi you violated the online harms bill because you may potentially now go out and misgender somebody in public, thus violating their rights of, to protect their feelings because here in Canada, I guess your feelings are protected against facts, you know, and they could even stop you from communicating with certain people. So if you and your friend, if you and one of your friends are having conversations about how you disagree with certain aspects of liberalism, they can literally make it illegal for you to talk to that person. It could be your best friend of 20 years. It could be your own parent. And they're allowed to do this. This all but makes it illegal to be anywhere close to center or right of center and beyond. You guys can, like, you can read some of the stuff that allows them to do. And it's not even if you actually do it, it's under the guise that you might do it. Reasonable grounds of maybe doing it in the future. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is the most dangerous piece of legislation in any country, never mind Canada. And if it passes, like what? Hate speech is one of the most loosely defined and ineffective terminologies that we have. Because who decides what's hateful? You're allowed, you're allowed to say horrific things about white people online. But you couldn't even question the validity of the George Floyd story without being taken off of Twitter. It, it literally, it just boils down to it's anything that liberals see as stuff that conservatives believe because these liberals are so full of their own shit. They're such egomaniacs. They're such narcissists that they don't think that anything that they believe could possibly be incorrect or dangerous or wrong. And they don't even see how this could potentially get turned around on them. Despite what's been happening online when it comes to something like, I don't know, Israel. They had all these things they wanted to push through about transgenderism, LGBTQ, and all these things about hate speech regarding those topics because they weren't the ones that were getting banned. But now here they are crying a river 
because they can't say to her from the river to the sea. But they didn't learn their lesson, did they? Because they don't learn. Because they're dumb people. You can see some of the comment sections on some of my last like two or three videos. These aren't intelligent people that we're dealing with, guys. Some of you watching this right now, hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. We keep hearing about protecting democracy. Democracy is dead. If people are punished for political opinions or in the case of like things like gender ideology, just speaking to biological realities. Or what's worse than that is being punished for potentially maybe in the future speaking to those things. It's thought policing. This is no different than what they were doing in like the 1940s in Germany where they were getting people to report their neighbors. They were getting Jews to go around and huddle up other Jews under the guise that they'll be protected, at least at the very least eaten last. This is like when you, you would go to Cuba during when, when Castro was still alive. You couldn't go to Cuba and ask a Cuban person if they liked living there and get expect to get any type of honest answer, no matter how impoverished they were living. You could see the poverty in your face and ask them, how do you like it here? And they'd say, it's the greatest place ever. Because there was a system put up where they would put plants to ask the citizens and if the citizens talked badly about the government, disappeared. And now they're going to do that here. And you can't say, oh, I'm being, I'm exaggerating because here it is. I just, sh I'm showing it to you guys. I'll, I keep, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys to read it at your own pace and listen to me in the background. Just be horrified. A judge can make you wear an ankle monitor if the attorney general makes that request. Return to or remain at their place of residence at specified times, which could be always. It could be like you're allowed to go to the grocery store, but the grocery store has to be within a certain radius or you have to order it in. But you can't leave to go to your job either because your job is too far outside of the radius of what our, we're sending your ankle monitor to because you might go out to a, to a cafe or a store and you might misgender somebody, so we can't have that. You might go out there and say that you don't really care too much for universal health care. You don't really care too much for open borders and open immigration without restrictions because that'll violate the rights of somebody else, the right of somebody to not be offended. It, and it, I, it's, and it's real and people, and there's going to be people in there that are going to say, it's no big deal. What does, is it, is it this? So is it so bad to just be nice to people? No, I guess it's not. It's not, but to not be able to speak to biological realities because it's part of an ideology that surrounds a protected class in which these online hate speech regulations protect. The online isn't out there to protect incorrect information. It's not there to protect 100% facts. If it was, then gender ideology would not be attached to it, but it is the forefront of it. Imagine being the online harms bill and being this channel. I already posted evidence in my community page of them literally nerfing a video in real time, having thousands of impressions one day, and then the next day had five, six impressions total for a 24 hour period on a video that was just getting thousands of it, all because of the content of the video. They, disc they they ran it through and they blocked it behind the scenes. You can't even search the video up. You have to go to my channel and click it yourself. And that's just me. That's just small time me. It's a lot, easy it's a lot easier to take down 35,000 versions of me and leave one version of somebody who gets millions because at least you're getting the ad revenue. You can make money off of them, but we'll ban everyone else and we'll make that one person look like they're there on an island by themselves because that's what they want to do. That's what they've been doing. Imagine being somebody who didn't get the thing in 2021 with this type of thing out here, this online harms bill. We were People were already being silenced. Videos on this channel were already being banned for things, for saying things that are now accepted truths about what happened over those years. And only because there weren't rules like this was the truth able to eventually prevail. And what this bill does is it prevents the truth from prevailing in the end because it bans it from existing altogether. It's going to put you literally in jail for it. And there are people 
championing this. Real people. All because they don't want somebody to maybe one day be misgendered by some stranger. Or because they don't want to hear something about the world that may be true, just simply inconvenient for them and their worldview that they've created to protect themselves because the truth doesn't appreciate and like them as much as they wish it did. This needs to be put to an absolute end. If this makes it through, if this gets passed, there's news is already banned on social media in Canada. You can't look at it. I can't go on any news page on Instagram that, that's designated a news page. I can't go on CNN. I can't go on Fox. I can't go on NBC. Can't go on any of them. I can't access them. It's banned here because of these types of rules. And this is going to be the end of it. How are we supposed to even express ourselves that we might be in danger to the rest of the world if we can't even risk being put in jail and having all of our devices removed? A camera, a light, a microphone, a computer, a cell phone, all of it gone, all of it. And you'll see in this comment section, if this video isn't just completely shadow banned like some of my other ones, you'll see people in here saying I'm being dramatic. You'll see people in this comment section, you'll see people commenting on other videos of mine saying that it's it's extreme and it's over exaggerated and it's not really happening. It's because these people can't see past their own shit and they never will. So that's why it's up to us who actually have functioning brains to stand up against all this stuff and this is bad. This is really bad really bad and i'll see you guys like hopefully i'll see you guys with another video in the future and that this channel is still up time for now because this thing never went through jesus see you guys next time